So, if you guys don't know, Thrower Blade is one of my favorite games of this year. And I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to show it again. I have a physical version of the game. And I bought the digital deluxe. The game sold over a million units. And has garnered a lot of attention because of the hot girls. Hot Eve is insanely attractive. But... I have some bad news. Really bad news. This comes from some IGN. Stellar Blade dev shift up goes public and raises a whopping $320 million. <sighs> yeah. So the people that brought you Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, with the hot characters, with the big ass and big tits. The game that brought you Stellar Blade with his great combat, beautiful music, aesthetically pleasing character designs, and big ass and big tits as well. Has gone public. Shift Up Corporation, the South Korean developer behind PlayStation 5 exclusive Stellar Blade, has raised 435 billion won which is 320 million in his first day of trade after an initial public offering. According to Bloomberg, that's the largest in the country for a gaming company since 2021. When PUBG maker Crafton Inc. raised 3.1 billion from its own IPO, Shift Up Corporation sold nearly 7.3 million shares at 60,000 won each. There was demand for 226 times the number of shares available, Bloomberg said. China's Tencent in its second largest holder. Tencent? Uh, I... Uh, ah. Company success here comes off the back of the launch of Stellar Blade, which has sold more than 1 million copies and may spawn a sequel as well as a PC version, and its popular mobile game Goddess of Victory Nikkei. Stellar Blade, which launched in April 26, 2024, took inspiration from Alita Battle Angel, 80s and 90s science fiction, and a taxi driver strike, according to director Kim Hyung Tae. They also took a lot of inspiration from... Near Automata as well, which should be noted. It's already enjoyed a handful of post-launch updates, including one which added a boss challenge mode, new outfits, and more. In our 7 out of 10 review, IGN said Stellar Blade is great in all of the most important ways for an action game, but dull characters, lackluster story, and several frustrating elements of its role-playing game mechanics prevent it from soaring along with its best of the genre. It's not an RPG, dude. It's not an RPG. It's a hack and slash type of game. So, why is this bad? Why is this bad? Right? We got the censored version. The game already censored itself. Shift Up censored itself because they bowed down to Sony. Right? This Black Pearl was censored. That's Jay's favorite. The blue monsoon, I believe it's censored too. They added an extra stress where it's not needed. And then the cybernetic bondage is censored right where the cleavage, the, the, the cleavage would be. Right over there in the middle. This extra patch over here is censored. And then uh, we have the bunny. I'm not sure if they're going to have it here. Do we have the bunny? There it is. Holiday rabbit. The one that was most heavily censored. Adding in this weird Spanx thing and this weird, like, lace the texture over the cleavage because it was too sexy. <laughs> Piece of shit. Why is it bad? The reason why is this. <sighs> Shift Up goes publicly listed, now needs to make ESG reports. This is one of their um, job postings. We are seeking a competent IR manager to join Shift Up, a company that is leading the global market and achieving continuous growth together. Responsibilities. Based on his fluent English speaking skills, he is responsible for IR work and governance related work at Shift Up. 
Yada, yada, yada. Bottom part right over there. Lead other team members related tasks such as public disclosure of listed companies, committee work, and publication of ESG reports. So, any chance that this game gets a sh gets like for Stellar Blade that is any chance of it getting a a part two is high. It's even higher now, but they are going to make any of the characters like the the, the main characters they're going to be gay, gay and lame, lesbian and lame. Now, if you're showing lesbians tripping, I'm okay with that as long as they're hot lesbians. All right? Because what happened to hot lesbians? Now all the lesbians that we see in the like, media, they're all like ugly and pink haired and extremely woke. But the thing is that like Nikkei is extreme. Oh my God, Nikkei is insane, man. They're gonna be adding in a lot of fat, ugly characters now. Man, this makes me so sad, dude. <sighs> they want that they $320 million is a lot to them. And this is they're gonna like, oh, we need that ESG money. We need all of that shit. So everything that they're gonna be coming out with moving forward, they're gonna have some kind of gay, diverse character that's not needed, right? Nikkei? All of those hot women, they're gonna have fat women now. Oh, man, that sucks, dude. I'm I'm actually legit sad, man. Like, why? Like, Tencent owns, like, what, 80-something percent of Riot? And, they, and a lot of people in there are woke as hell, too. Like, for me, like, the fact that Tencent owns it is not a great thing. It's not. Now, if, like, Kuro Games or Mihoyo, like, like, we need, like, characters like that, but, like, the thing is that, like, Nik Nikkei is, like, one of the games where it's, like, yo, they know what exact, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you right, I'm gonna show you something right now, chat. I'm, I'm gonna show you the new Nikkei update. Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, is the same company that made Stellar Blade. This is Rosanna. This is one of the newer skins in Nikkei. What's wrong? Do you want to help put some sunscreen on my back? This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. Do not turn your back on your fans. Shift up. Don't do it. You don't need ESG money. Don't do it. Rosanna, Chick O Chic Ocean. I probably need to go back and play Nikkei, man. Oh my jeez. Oh my god. Why? Imagine taking a dollar, like a hundred dollar bill and burning it. That's what Shift Up is going to do. Shift Up is burning money right now is because they are going to cater to the DEI ESG woke bullcrap. God, dude. holy crap. Oh my god, I, I, I need to start playing Nikkei. Oh my god, I, I... Oh my god, man! Why did you do this, Shift Up? Why do you not like money? 
I don't get it. You guys hate money so much? You guys make games like this. It's your money maker. It's your bread and butter. Then you make a freaking amazing game like Stellar Blade that caters to fan service and the game is actually good. And then you're like, oh, let's go public. And then now you're, you're embroiled with ESG garbage. We got to go back. Oh. Um. What a game. Oh my god, dude. We need that character. We need this character. We... Like, imagine, like, not liking money. Imagine hating... Oh, my... F Jesus. We gotta slow down, baby. We gotta slow it down, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Shift up. Oh my. I I need to play Nikkei right now, man. I need to play Nikkei. But I don't want to give them money anymore just because if they're going to go if they're going to go woke, they're going to put in ESG garbage. It's, I don't want to give them money. Oh my god, dude. I got her on my squad in Nikkei. It was worth the 30 vouchers. Snapple, how much is dirty vultures in in real life money? How much is that? Maybe here hear me out. Maybe I can give them money to get this character before they go woke. Ah, uh, take back gaming, man. Yep. This 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 is this is a sad this is a sad day for for video gamers everywhere. And I guarantee you, like, people at IGN, people at Kotaku, a lot of these woke companies, they're, like, super happy. They're super happy. It's like, yes, ESG! Ah!